Yellowstone National Park is famous for its hot springs, geysers, and beautiful landscapes. But guess what? Underneath all that pretty stuff, there's a really big and scary volcano. It's been sleeping for a super long time, like more than 630,000 years. If this thing ever wakes up and blows its top, it could mess up the whole world really badly. So, let's talk about this volcano's backstory. The Yellowstone supervolcano is like the boss of all volcanoes. It's so huge that it's called a supervolcano. To give you an idea, remember that big volcanic explosion in 1991? Well, that was like a baby compared to what this supervolcano could do. It's like a hundred times more powerful. Now, people have been wondering how to tell if this big volcano is getting ready to erupt. And NASA, the space folks, are thinking hard about how to stop, or at least lessen the damage if it does blow up. So, that's what this video is all about. The history of the scary volcano, how we might know if it's going to blow, and what NASA wants to do about it. The big Yellowstone volcano has blown its top three times before, like super big explosions, about 2.1 million years ago, 1.3 million years ago, and 64,000 years ago. These blasts made really huge holes and spread lava everywhere, shaping how the land looks now. Even though we know the volcano has blown up before, figuring out when it might happen again is like trying to guess when a surprise party will happen. Volcanoes don't follow a schedule, so it's tough to say exactly when they'll erupt. But scientists have come up with a cool way to learn about the volcano's past. They look at these special crystals in the old lava, and these crystals tell them about what the volcano was doing before it erupted. The crystals show stuff like temperature changes and chemicals, which helps scientists understand how the volcano acted before. It's like looking at clues from the past to understand the volcano's habits. People watch Yellowstone all the time to see if it's getting ready to blow. The place has lots of little earthquakes, but most of them are no big deal. Sometimes there are more quakes, and that can be a bit scary. But we need to be careful not to mix up normal shaking with the warning signs of a big eruption. If the volcano was going to erupt super soon, there might be more intense earthquakes, the ground might change shape a lot, or there could be weird gases or heat coming out. But don't worry, right now there's no sign that it's about to blow. If the big Yellowstone volcano erupted, it would be really, really bad. Ash would go flying everywhere covering a bunch of states like Wyoming, Idaho, Colorado, Montana, and Utah in tons of ash. That would mess up farming, roads, and just everyday life. Plus, the stuff the eruption throws into the air could make the world cooler for a while, which might lead to not enough food and a big mess everywhere. NASA has come up with a really big idea to make the scary Yellowstone volcano safer. They want to dig deep holes into the volcano's big hole from outside the park, They'll put water inside, and when it gets super hot and steamy, they'll use that steam to make energy. This could give us power and also maybe cool down the volcano so it won't explode. It sounds cool, but there are some big problems. Digging into the supervolcano is really risky. If it doesn't work, it might even make the volcano erupt by accident. Plus, it would take a really long time and cost a lot of money to do all this. It could be thousands of years before the volcano cools down, if it works at all. Now let's talk about what we can do to be ready in case the big volcano wakes up. Even though it's not likely the damage would be so bad if it erupted, that we need to be prepared. We can use fancy tools to watch for any signs that the volcano might erupt. Things like shaking, gas smells, and changes in the land can help us know if something's up. If we have a good warning system, we can tell people to leave the area and get ready for the worst. Watching how the ground moves, the gases that come out, and using satellites can help us predict eruptions better. So even though the volcano might not blow up soon, it's smart to be ready, just in case. Technology helps us see what's going on underground, and if we're careful and work together, we can be safer when dealing with this big global problem. Being ready for disasters especially in places where things like volcanoes can happen, is super important. The folks in charge around Yellowstone and nearby areas need to make really good plans for what to do if something bad happens. They should have plans for emergencies, like how to evacuate people safely and ways to talk to each other quickly. They also need to teach people about what to do if something bad happens, so everyone knows how to stay safe. Now, here's the thing. 
volcanoes don't just stay in one place. They can affect lots of countries around them. So all the countries that might be affected should work together. They should share information, knowledge, and resources to understand how volcanoes work and watch out for them. If they team up, they can make better systems to warn people early if a volcano is acting up. This would help everyone be better prepared. But there's a tricky part. Yellowstone Park is not just a cool place with a big volcano. It's also home to lots of animals and plants, and it's really special to people. So, any plans to make the volcano safer can't mess up the park's natural beauty. For example, NASA's idea to use the volcano's heat for energy should be checked to make sure it won't hurt the park's plants and animals. Protecting the park's special nature should be just as important as being ready for disasters. In a nutshell, getting ready for volcano disasters is a mix of making good plans, working together with other countries, and making sure nature stays safe. Thinking about the big Yellowstone volcano erupting might be really scary, but humans have a history of facing tough stuff and finding ways to keep going. Even when bad things happen, we've shown that we can bounce back and figure things out. Let's talk about how we've dealt with tough times before and what we can learn from them to deal with a possible Yellowstone eruption. Throughout history, we've had to deal with lots of natural disasters like volcanoes blowing up, earthquakes shaking things, and big waves called tsunamis. Even though these things have caused a lot of sadness and trouble, they've also made us come up with new ideas and work together. People have looked back at what happened before, learned from it, and found better ways to stay safe. You might have heard about the city of Pompeii that got buried by a volcano way back in 79 AD. It was a huge tragedy, but we learned from it and now we know how to plan cities better and have rules for building strong structures. The eruption of Mount St. Helens in 1980 is another example. We used technology to watch the volcano and told people to leave before it blew. This saved lives and taught us that being ready and knowing what's going on is super important. So even though a big volcano going off is really tough to think about, we can remember that humans are good at finding ways to get through tough times. We've learned from our history, and that gives us hope that we can be prepared and stay safe if something like the Yellowstone volcano ever wakes up. Thinking about what could happen if the big Yellowstone volcano erupts, we need to learn from what's happened before to make sure we're ready. This means setting up good systems to warn us early, making plans for what to do if it blows, and teaching people what to do. Even though Yellowstone Park looks nice, there's a big danger under the ground, a scary volcano that could be really bad. We're not sure exactly when it might erupt, but scientists are keeping an eye on it to understand it better. NASA has a big idea to use the volcano's heat for energy and stop it from erupting super bad, but we need to do it carefully and be patient. So, to be safe, we need to be smart and remember what we've learned from history. We can use technology to warn us early, make plans to stay safe, and teach everyone what to do. Even though the volcano could be really dangerous, we can work together to be ready for anything.